Welcome back, you guys! This is Tessindra. Continuing my Valkyria Chronicles campaign, where we just finished the Chapter 6 combat mission. It was not that difficult, although it could have gone horribly wrong. I wish I could have gotten more kills, but whatever. So, the enemy has been dealt with, and now we are going to check out the actual ruins. So, let's wrap up Chapter 6 and see where Chapter 7 is heading. I think I remember a large tank, but uh, that might be later. Let's see. Huh? What's this supposed to be anyway? It's weirdly shaped. What a weird place for something like this. There you all are. Oh. Wait, so the archaeologist shows up just in time to explore the ruins. That's perfect. Hey there, Faldio. I didn't know you were out here, too. I'm an archaeology major, remember? I was ordered to observe the ruins' interior. Why? 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 What possible reason would there be for you to receive orders for that? The shape of it really is unusual. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Hmm. Where could it have been? Is it an animal? A bug? This building was supposedly erected millennia ago by the Valkyrie themselves. Oh, okay. So they actually existed then? Yes. The Valkyrie make a sudden appearance in European history thousands of years ago. Records say they brought with them incredibly advanced technology and divine might. Are we talking aliens? Then one day, their history just ends. The Vakura just disappeared. I always thought they were just a myth. That's it. I remember now. Okay. Remember what, Welkin? What are you shouting Don't about? Don't be a bug. Don't be a bug. The Dread Nautilus. This structure looks just like a Dread Nautilus. Uh, a dread nautilus? What's that? Uh -huh. You don't know? They're marine cephalopods. They live inside pointy spiral shells. A turtle? What's a cephalopod? And these ruins look just like that shell. I wonder if there's some connection there. You think the Valkyrie came from the ocean? That's... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. Welkin, you can be such a... I mean, it might just be a coincidence. Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Forget it. Right. Let's take a look inside, then. We may find some clue to why the Empire is out here. Oh, okay. So maybe, yeah. So maybe him receiving orders does make a little sense. Alicia, I want you to come help Faldio and me look around inside. Largo, Rosie, and Isara, you stay here. Be on the lookout for movement in the area. All right, sir. Please be careful. Hmm. All right. All right. So, visitors at the temple. So, there is a temple. Tell me, Silvaria, do these walls offer an answer to our search? Oh shit, he's here? I pray, where sleeps the ancient power? Ah, uh, I'm remembering all of this now. What do you read, child? Dots. Valkov, the Holy Lance. Scorcher of the vast earth, asleep eternal in the bosom of Randwries. The city? Or the country? Made pillar of its keeper's keep, kept thereby for eon without end. Made pillar of its keeper's keep. Then it's true. The sacred lance lies buried within Ron Grease's walls. Oh. 
Is this a Lance of Longanus thing again? But your grace, how do you intend to control the lance once it is found? <laughs> Worry not. A beast fit to bear that burden will soon be at our disposal. Interesting. With this, our dream is made hard fact. Our crown shadow will extend to all of Europa. The echo is a bit annoying, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. But they're in the temple. The crown prince. Chapter 7. The Battle at Barius. Interesting. I'm dying to know more. Let's see. A history unfolds. This is the Battle at Barius. So there's gonna be another one? And everything echoes. Amazing, isn't it? I was surprised when I first came here, too. It's... There aren't any windows or skylights in here, but it's still so light. Interesting. Like, I'm looking at the... On Alicia's side of the... the her, her window. And you see those, like, that half circle there? There's an... There are two Norse runes in there. At the very least, the, the F and the B. That's interesting. Those are actually, actually Norse runes. Did they just slap some kinds of different symbols on there? Because I don't recognize the others. Mm. The ruins are made of stone with a high ragnite concentration. It lights itself. Oh, nice. It's uncanny. Look at this. Something's written on the wall here. It, you, there's writing on all the walls. It's in Old Northern script. So they, they are actually Valkyras? I suppose that makes sense. If it is sort of borrowing very loosely from Norse mythology. But they didn't carry lances. Old Northern? It was the dominant writing system in Europa. You still see it on a lot of old monuments. Do you know how to read it, Valdio? Yeah, we just covered it this last year. Oh, damn. Let's take a look. It's more or less a recounting of the Darks and Calamity as the history books tell it. Oh. The Darksons unlocked some secret property of Ragnite and tried to conquer the continent. A hundred cities raised its fell light, ten hundred thousand men and beast therewith. A hundred cities raised its fell light. Hmm. It's a weird sentence. It's a weird sentence. It says this area used to be one of the cities lost in that purge as well. So they did use Ragnite. It was in the middle of that destruction that the Valkyrer suddenly came into the picture. Supposedly they rose to face the Darksons, armed with sacred lances, blue with flame. Interesting. That became the War of the Valkyrer. I had a picture book about that as a girl. But it's fiction, right? Like a fairy tale. Ruins like these dot the European map. Traces of the culture that once ruled the continent. Interesting. The majority of the anthropological community now agrees that the Valkyrer did exist. Wow. This is so educational. <laughs> Thank you for that input. The Valkyrer won and rose to power, while the Darksons were scattered across Europa. There are some who worship the Valkyrer as the saviors of Europa even today. Meanwhile, the Darksons got branded with the stigma of their past and were persecuted. Well, the victor, the history is written by the, the victors, right? Isn't that how it goes? With no land of their own, they had to work as itinerant laborers and ragnite miners. 
which is why there are so many Darksons still working in the industrial sector today. I never knew that. Come to think of it, Isara's dad was an engineer, wasn't he? Anyway, that's enough history for today. Let's keep checking for Imperial tracks. Oh, right, yeah, we're here for that. All right. Interesting. Looks like there's a side story here. The Darkson Calamity. I've been looking, but I still ain't seen nothing but sand. Those imps got some strange tastes if they're sunning themselves out here. <laughs> and more dots. What's got you, Rosie? Ain't like you to be so quiet. You got the runs or something. <laughs> You're foul, Largo. And I'm just annoyed. <laughs> He's blunt. Takes some kind of brass to blow up a chunk of turf this big, don't you think? Looks like the dark hairs have been bad news for the rest of us folks since day one. Uh -huh. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you think I mean? No archaeological proof exists to support the theory that Darkson's destroyed Barius. Look around. How much more proof do you need? I mean, there's proof that something happened, but how do you prove it was the Darksons who did it? And it's an unfair generalization to assume that all Darksons cause trouble for others. You saying you don't? Look, it's cause of you people that I, that my whole... No, oh, backstory time. All right, time out, you two. You stay out of this, Largo. We're on patrol here. You keep squawking and we're likely to get sniped. That's true. Well, she's a tank operator. You too, kid. You know Rosie's got a temper on her. She wouldn't go off if you didn't talk back. I don't believe anything I've said is untrue. Yeah, she doesn't back down. <sighs> Stubborn as mules, both of you. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, those two are not going to sell their differences any time soon. Inside the spiral. Are they going to enter? Oh, that spiral. Is it a door? Folio, what is that? More echo. It's called the Valkyrian Spiral. Okay, so what is it? I was talking about their power before, remember? The sacred blue flame? The spiral motif on their relief carvings are said to represent inexhaustible power. Interesting. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, exactly. I didn't know that either. Still, we haven't seen any Imperials here. Not even any signs of entry. I guess it's possible that this wasn't what brought the Empire out here. Well, the others are waiting. Let's go back. All right. Sure, let's go. Huh? What in the... Alicia, what just happened? I don't know. I barely even touched it and this door just opened. It was a door. Whoa. It looks like it keeps going. An underground chamber in the Barius ruins. This is a huge discovery. Should we go in? Yeah. Do you have to ask? I mean, technically you both are her superior, so I think she does have to ask. All right, let's take a look. Oh, they're gonna run into each other. Our first contact, boom. Let's fight it out. Come on, let's fight it out in the temple. Whoa. Oh, it's a... What is this place? Cinematic. Seems like it goes on forever. Wow, look at this wall. 
Amazing. There are engravings everywhere. What do they say, Faldio? I'm not sure. I wish I could tell you they're too ancient for me to decipher. Welkin! We're not... alone. Who's there? Oh, it's just, you know. Well, how surprising to find you here. We don't get many visitors. I won't ask how you were able to break in. It's not really important. But you defile this sanctum with your presence. Uh, guys, that's Maximilian. Maximilian? Wait, but he's the enemy commander. Hold it right there! You take one more step and I'll shoot you down, I swear I will! Ugh! What? Lower your weapon. Your lives are worthless to me, but I do not wish to stain this sacred place with blood. If you are determined to have this confrontation, why don't we settle it outside? Welkin. Welkin. So, you're the brat who's responsible. My compliments for the vassal bridge and the base in Cloden. You quite impressed Jaeger. He was singing your praises, boy. Silvari, come. Sir. Oh yeah, she's she's in trouble. Oh, now is our chance to take out their commander. She's right, Faldio. Let's go. Oh fuck uh, yeah. Right. Oh no 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 no! She's in this map, isn't she? She, uh, Silvaria is in this map. Oh no! She's gonna beat the crap out of me. The first time I did this map, I remember it. I lost like three people, cause she is unstoppable. <laughs> Oh no, no, well, well, let me just quickly take a look at um, the writings on the wall and see if there's anything there, right? See if there's anything interesting there, story-wise, otherwise we can just sort of call it here. Hey! Oh, and how about oh hey, we got some couldn't help more? Alright, let's see here. Imperial Shadow hits barriers. Central Gallian command reported on the 15th that the militia had encountered and routed a contingent of Imperial stationed in Barius, the culmination of clandestine investigation into reported Imperial activity in the area. The Badlands topography is poorly suited to combat maneuvers, and the region holds little to no strategic value, making the Empire's goal there unclear. One theory suggests that the desert region is home to an as yet unmined load, and that Imperial forces were stationed there for the purpose of Ragnate speculation. Alright. Gallia Federation talks begin. Okay, the Federation is the, the Allies. During a press session on the 10th, Gallian Prime Minister Borg called for talks with Federation Ambassador Townsend. Townshend. There's an H in there. Slated to visit Gallia at the end of the month. In light of the increasingly complex conflict between the Federation and the Empire, however, many suspect the Federation views this as a chance to acquire Gallia for its resources. This announcement has been met with vehement opposition from members of the Parliament with strong ties to the former Imperial cartels. Ambassador Townsend responded to the invite in a public address stating that he firmly believes that joining hands to thwart the Empire's hubristic ambitions is essential to assuring peace for Europa. And that was a mouthful. All right. And what else is here? Da, 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 da. I've got new material. What do you got? Largo's passion. All right. Let's take a look at it. <laughs> Thanks a million. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Let's exit. Come back and I'm gonna take a look at who got the um, the rising star. Let's see if we're anywhere close to unlocking some potentials here. So let's see here. Uh, character, no. Ab. Personnel. K. 
Kevin? Don't remember Kevin. Wavy, nope. These are just the new people, right? It's Frisha. Oh, she got some new information there. But we're not even close to unlocking her. Nope. Herbert. Uh, yeah, he was. we used him in the last mission quite a bit. Dallas. Ramsey, no. These are just the new guys that we hired. There's not any, any other information on this. So... Episode select. And let's go back one. Let's go back again. Where is Largos? Okay. Report. Largos passion. Oh, this is the combat mission. Okay, so we'll do this one in a separate episode, shall we? Um so yeah, we just ran into Maximilian. The pr crown prince of the empire and his Val Valkyr, I don't even know how, how they're bastardizing it this time around. Uh, bodyguard, Salvaria, who is also the commander of the Central Forces. So there's two big shots over there, and I do recall that combat mission being a bit of a pain in the dick. But yeah, so I will see you guys in the next episode, but until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.